Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. So, guys, as you can see in the middle here, I have um, some coins that I've been showing in my previous videos, but more notably, these coins right here, the Dwight D. Eisenhower, this Superman Maple Leaf, these, um, these Buffalo Head Nickels, this Sacagawea, these Mercury Dimes right here, all these Mercury Dimes. I'm actually selling them to uh, one of my most frequent buyers tomorrow. Um, he loves these 1971 Dwight D. Eisenhowers. I always get um, uncirculated ones. And um, <clears throat> of course, locally, you can find these. Um, luckily, I have a good source. Um, I've continued to purchase from them and um, I just love them. You know, Regardless of me selling these, I always wanna have um, my own stash. Um, as they are one of my favorite coins and um, as a silver stacker you certainly want to have Dwight D. Eisenhower's you certainly want to have Mercury Dimes you certainly want to have the Buffalo Heads um, and of course you know exclusive coins like this one see this one was only offered in the year 2016 you have other um Superman symbols. However, if you want this like classic Superman look, it's only going to come on these 2016s. And so I, I always tend to have at least one or two in my collection of these Superman. Um, but hey, that's temporary because it's only coming out in that year exclusively. So Wall Street Journal is reporting that maybe you should skip breakfast to save money. And the CEO of Kellogg is saying the best way to offset the rising costs of inflation is to eat cereal for dinner instead. Cereal versus a $70 tab at Olive Garden or Applebee's. It makes sense. Remember when Janet Yelling uh, promised us that inflation was going to be transitory? That we were going to go back to a 2% inflation rate and everything was going to be okay? It's not okay. Food bank lines are through the roof and demand for food stamps and welfare are at an unseen level. Don't forget that the average car payment on a new car is over $700 a month. How are these people doing it? How are they paying their rent, their mortgages, which have doubled the last several years? Do not be mistaken, most Americans will be focused on feeding themselves over feeding their creditors. Cereal for dinner. We are in a period in this economy which we've never seen. We have never seen affordability problems at this level or theft nationwide at this level. Things are getting a lot worse. All the assets, cars, houses, which are held dominantly by the middle class, what are these people going to do? Many will repo their cars. It's already happening. Many will sell their houses. It's already happening. And the millennial demographic in particular is the most vulnerable. The more our wallets get squeezed, the more our mobility gets threatened. If the economy is so great, why are evictions soaring? And remember, Experts claim that 40% of all family homes will be owned by investors in the next six years. Affordability is going to get so outrageous, and with it, the assets are going to all go on sale. If you have any intentions of building wealth, make sure your credit score is in line with your goals. Have a 750 to 800 credit score. Don't be average, because it's the average people who are going to get slammed. Be top tier so you can always go out and get funding. And we're going to need to with everything that's coming. So it's like, yes, silver is, is an excellent hedge. Um, it's a battle against the, the de-dollarization of uh, the American dollar. Uh, because this new order, this new economy that we're heading into globally, 
It's going to be interacting with the blockchain. That's why Bitcoin is going to be playing such a pivotal, pivotal role. But do not hesitate and do not stall when it comes to getting precious metals. Gold and silver, they're still going to be what you want to be getting your hands on. Aside from crypto. Remember, this is silver dad knows. But I talk about crypto because you should have crypto. And I'm just going to name a few that you should consider investing in. Polkadot. Polygon, Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, XRP. You know, and this is, um, th that was in no particular order. But if you really want to be putting your money somewhere where it is most likely to increase long term, Bitcoin, it's a no brainer. Silver, it's a no brainer. The food in your pantry, the water in your fridge, the water in your pantry. It's a no-brainer. These are actual assets. These are things that are that you need and are gonna get you through it. You know, and I'm it it's just one thing I've never been able to understand. You know, you're a millionaire on paper, yet I go to your your home or your condo and you don't have that much food, you don't have that much water. Everything goes kaput. Were you really a millionaire on paper? Yeah, I guess that's all it was. It was just on paper because in reality, you have nothing to show for it. You see all these poor people, and yeah, they're poor on paper, but yet they got a whole supply of water and food at their homes. A whole year supply. And that's what's going to matter, guys. You have guns, you have bullets, you have silver. What is going to get you through the crisis? Because everything we're being taught through the media, through our universities, through our liberal leaders, it is not good advice. In fact, it is very, very harmful advice. And that's why you see so many of our youth who are clueless. They're clueless and they're blaming everybody else but themselves because they have been told to blame everybody else but themselves. They have been told not to take accountability, that it is the system's fault, not their fault. And while our system is broken, it is certainly, it is certainly beatable. But you have to put in the time. You do have to put in the work and you do have to be strategic where you're putting your capital. <clears throat> yes, definitely. Have ten to $15,000 laying around as liquid, yes. You know, especially if you're in the process of buying real estate, especially if you're, you know, you might not have a job. You need, you need time to, to lay low and get yourself back together. It's a perfect, it's a perfect time to use your liquid. But aside from that, have things set up, have a Roth IRA. You don't have a Roth IRA, have life insurance, have silver, have gold, have cryptocurrency. You know, right there, there's just five nest eggs I named, and those are very, very reputable, secure nest eggs right now. But silver, this is just one of my favorite because it's the most interactive um, asset that I have aside from my cryptocurrency. You know, my cryptocurrency, it's all digital. I can't physically hold my, my cryptocurrency, but I can physically hold my silver. Remember, you guys already know, this is my favorite coin. I saw a gentleman the other day, old man, veteran too, um, and he was wearing one of these around his neck, a two ounce one, and it's, it was awesome, you know. He got to learn where I worked at, and I gave him my business. I said, you know what, sir, if you're ever in the market, I can sell you a vehicle, this is where I work, but I can sell you silver as well. And he was very intrigued, uh, because he told me that he, he often collect silver he, he stacks on silver and i mean these are just the people that you meet guys just i mean i was eating with my family and it's something that i noticed and it was a great conversation starter because i told him yeah hey, i love that coin and he had a huge one it was a two ounce one double the size of that one and look at all this my frequent buyer all these coins right here this is over 20 coins that he's going to be purchasing for me and um I mean, it just, just goes to show that the silver game is, is alive more than ever. 
And to give you guys an idea, I'm selling probably 40 coins every week. So business is good and silver is, is in demand. You know, you being unfamiliar with what's happening, you might think, ah, no, I'm never gonna buy silver. Don't start buying it once it goes to $100, $150 an ounce. Get it now while it's still dirt cheap. You're going to thank yourself later, I assure you. But as always, guys, another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Um, go to my description. You can see my uh, my eBay account. All the coins right now that I have for sale. You hit me up. Hey, I watch your channel. I love what you're saying. I want to buy this coin. Any coin that you choose, I will sell it to you at cost. So, again, guys... Um, God bless you. God bless your homes. God bless America.